Good morning, guys. How are you this morning? Hi, Chad. So it's Hi, been a, a long time. I mean, we were talking about it last night at dinner. My wife says that she can't remember when the Peters family orchard had, you know, in a cushion. It wasn't around. I know. I know. It's it's uh, my entire life. Um, and on behalf of my aunt and uh, family, thank you for, you know, thank you for having us on uh, this morning. And first off, we have to... Uh, give a thanks to the entire farming community of, you know, of a Kushnet for, and, you know, and our fans and people that have come to uh, the stand, a, a huge thank you for such, you know, such support. And we don't want to sadden anyone. We don't want to shock anyone, but, you know, over the past 40 years, my entire life, I'm 43. So as a little toddler, my aunt and uncle bought a very decrepit uh, part of a historic whaling orchard that was under a you know state of disease and had a dream to run you know the quintessential New England um, agro orchard you know with uh, entertainment in addition to fabulous food and homemade goodies and I think they did it tremendously well uh, you know over over forty years there's hardly a person who doesn't know the orchard on Main Street and certainly. <clears throat> If you uh, knew the orchard and you knew the good stuff that was there, you know, behind all of that is, you know, my aunt. And uh, she is, uh, you know, in, in the, the, the only word that I can use to describe her is she literally is a peach. Like, she is a delightful woman. Oh, my God, your and aunt is amazing. Auntie She's the sweetest. Yes. Yes, Lauren, the sweetest. You know, Lauren, Lauren and I uh, had the opportunity. Um, I had come home from working for the New York Times and had, you know, a period um, and ended up working with, you know, my family side by side at the orchard. And Lauren, um, that experience of learning, you know, the way that we learned canning and baking and pies. Loved and all it. That stuff, loved it, you know. And I think that that's probably, you know, will go down as one of the most, you know, special periods in, in my entire life. How often does one, you know, get to leave the business world for a moment and uh, spend a season, you know, at a historic orchard with a woman who is well-versed in, you know, to put Martha Stewart to shame, really, with with the stuff that she truly knows. You're and, right. No, uh, you are. So, she's right, amazing. Really, yeah, she's, yeah, she's pretty amazing. <laughs> so, I mean, I was just I was just reading that this year's crop of apples. It was ideal conditions because of all the snow we got. It insulated the trees, and it's we're expecting a bumper crop of apples. So, why the heck would you guys get out now? Rub it, rub it, rub it in, Michael. <laughs> yeah, you know the. Um, you know the, the the fact of the matter is that it, it it is very fortunate for all farmers that this year does look to be a bumper crop, and that's one of the that's one of the very strange things about apples as crops is that they go from bumper to nothing to nothing to bumper to medium. Um, it's very difficult to get a consistent crop because of winter moss specifically. Um, it has it has ravaged, uh, and, and you guys saw this spring. Those moths ravaged trees and the buds and all of the early formation of um, apples when they you know when they start to grow. This you know seasonal affectation of the of the crop was not um, you know for us the the decision. The, the decision came um, when my aunt truly wanted to retire, and there clearly was not the next person. Um, in the family who who had that as a passion 